hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this basic lasagna and i'll also be giving you tips on how to prevent your lasagna from falling apart once you've cooked it so to begin with we're going to start off with making the mint here i've got 500 grams of mince meat that i'm just going to saute with a little bit of onions Then I'm adding this garlic and herb spice. Unfortunately, I didn't have any garlic. If you've got garlic, then you're more than welcome to add garlic and then you don't have to add this spice. So we're just going to saute that until our mint has been fully cooked. So then I'm adding some sun-dried tomato pesto. If you don't have sun-dried tomato pesto, you can also use tomato paste. And then I've also drizzled just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And then I'm just going to saute that into our mint. Then lastly, I've just added a teaspoon of chicken stock. So you can use chicken stock or beef stock. I prefer to mix it up. And then lastly, I've added some balsamic vinegar. And then I'm just going to let that simmer until it is fully cooked. So this is the balsamic vinegar that I am using. Just make sure you get yourself a good quality balsamic vinegar. So the next thing we're going to make is our white sauce. So I've just melted a little bit of butter and then I've added some flour and then I'm just going to mix that up until my flour is fully coated in the butter mixture. Then I'm adding some full cream milk and then I'm going to whisk this. So this is a tedious exercise. You need to make sure that you whisk it until all the lumps have disappeared. So at this point, I'm now going to add one cup of grated cheddar cheese and then i'm also going to infuse some flavor with some basil dried herbs in there you can add black pepper you can also season it with salt whichever herby herbs you've got will suffice so we're just going to mix that in and make sure that our cheese is fully mixed in our white sauce So the lasagna sheets that I'm using are these ones that don't require you to cook them. They're from Pick and Pay. You can buy the Pick and Pay brand or any other brand. They work the same. So we're going to start with our assembly. I've started off by putting up, down a little bit of mince at the bottom of my lasagna pan. Then I'm going to put the lasagna sheets you can also break them if you find that they're not fitting properly into your pan. Then next I'm going to put in our white sauce. I'm just going to make sure that I spread it to cover all the edges of the lasagna sheets. I'm just going to repeat this process until I reach the top of the lasagna pan. Just want to say that my pan can only allow me to make three layers. Your pan might be deeper, so you might be able to make more layers than me. So the trick with lasagna, the first trick with lasagna is when you're assembling it, you make sure you need to make sure that all your corners are sealed with your wet ingredients okay so this is the final layer the final layer we need to make sure that we have some white sauce on the top and then we're just going to spread that out again we want to make sure that we cover all of the corners So lastly, we're just going to add some grated cheddar cheese on top. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of parsley on top just to um, just for it to already cook with the lasagna. So the first tip I'm going to give you is that you need to make sure that you set this aside for 30 minutes before you put it in the oven that will just allow all your 
wet ingredients and your lasagna sheets to combine and become one okay so once 30 minutes has passed you're going to take your lasagna pan and you're going to put it into an oven for another 30 minutes at 180 degrees with the foil on this will just help trap the heat in and make sure that your lasagna sheets cook fully and then after 30 minutes you can remove the foil cover and then grill them for five minutes or until your cheese has started to brown on the top so you can see that it's bubbling away so now this is what the final product looks like I know you probably want to start digging into your lasagna at this point in time I'm garnishing mine with some chili flakes but here's the final tip rest your lasagna for 30 or more minutes if you can this will just help make sure that when you cut your lasagna it doesn't fall apart it maintains its shape so hold hold it in the pan for an additional 30 minutes before you cut it so here's me cutting mine and to tell you the truth this is really really delicious so i hope that you guys will try out this recipe and let me know how yours turned out of course let me not forget to garnish my dish with some fresh herbs like i'm doing right now but that's all for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching up until the end please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and also let me know what recipes you'd love to see and i'll see you next time bye